Hello and welcome to today's English lesson. So first of all guys, can we all turn to wave and say a big hello to our friends on camera? Hello. Hello. And we'll begin by doing our meditation sequence. So I will sit down, take two fingers, find our heart center, left hand on our laps and close our eyes. When you're ready, guys, you can open your eyes and come back to the room. Excellent. And next, we'll do our stretching sequence. So let's stand up and push in our chairs. And this time, we'll stretch high to the sky. <laughs> high to the sky. And then we'll go down low. Touch our toes. Now let's go back up high. And this time with our hands in the air, let's turn around. And now let's go back the other way. And then back down to touch our toes. Stand up straight. And now we'll do some rotations. Left, right. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Excellent, guys. Next, we'll do some stretches. So let's do five stretches to our right. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent. Next, we'll do five stretches to our left. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent, guys. And to finish, we'll do five jumps straight up. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent, guys. Have a seat. So who can tell me what word we continue to learn about in the previous English lesson? A word beginning with M. Must. Well done, Lakau. The word must. Altogether, must. Yes. M U S T. And does anybody remember how we learned to use must in the last lesson? Yes, you must was the answer. But first of all, we learned how to use must as a question. Yes. When we ask a question using the word must, where does must come in the sentence? At the end? No. At the beginning? Yes. Must is always the first word in a question. So we have must. Next word for the subject, we can say you. Must you. Y-O-U. Y 
O-U. And then next comes the verb or the thing that we want to ask. For example, must you wash your hands? Wash, W. Let's see, get another black pen. W. A. S. H. Your. Y. O. U. R. And hands. N. D. And how many hands do we have? Two. So we need S on the end for plural. So, is that correct to ask the question? Must you wash your hands? Is that right? What have I forgotten? Question mark. In English, when we write a question, what do we need at the end of the sentence? Question mark. Always need our question mark. Okay, guys, so all together, the question, must you wash your hands? Now, I will ask my students to close their eyes. And when they wake up, one will have a pen. And they have to write the correct response, yes, you must, or no, you must not, that we learned in the previous lesson. Okay, let's open our eyes now, guys. Who has the pen? Prel, can you come and join me at the front, please? So, we've written our question. Again, guys, all together. Must, must you wash your hands? Now, Prel, thinking about the responses from the last lesson, what will you write? Yes, you must. Excellent. So, yes, Y, E, S. And then, U, Y, O, U, followed by our final word, must. M, U, S, T. Excellent, Prel. So, all together, must you wash your hands? Yes, you must. Well, that was excellent. High five. Big round of applause for Prel. <laughs> what we'll do now, we'll practice one more question and then we'll have a student come forward and give the negative response. So guys, if I want to ask the question, what's the first word we need? Must. M. U-S-T, and then we'll ask something that's not nice. Must you, Y-O-U, and then something we should not do. I know, smoke. S-M-O-K-E. And then at the end, question mark. So all together, guys, must. You smoke. Now, we all know the answer to this, but I want one of my students to demonstrate the correct response that we learned in the previous lesson. So let's see. Open your eyes, guys. Who has the marker pen? Pak Bung. Okay. So now we know smoking is very bad for us and we should not do it. So, the question again, must you smoke? And we won't say, yes, you must. What will we say? No, you must not. So, underneath, Pak Bung, can you write? No, N, O. U, I, O, U. And then must. M U S T. No, you must. And then the final word, not. Excellent. So, ready, guys? Ready to answer my question? Must you smoke? No. 
No, you must not. Excellent. High five for Pak Bung. Big round of applause. And that was a brief recap of the previous lesson when we learned how to use must in a question and also provide the correct responses. But now we're going to move on and look at something else for this lesson. But first, I need to clean the board. So today's lesson, we're going to focus on two particular sounds and learn how to use them properly. So guys, A. 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 There's two ways of spelling A. Okay, we have A. I. A. And we also have another way of spelling this sound, A. Does anybody have any ideas? We have A-I or A-Y. Well done. So, A. 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 Sound very similar, yes? but they're different spellings. How do we spell this sound? A. A. I. How do we spell this sound? A. A. Y. Now, can anybody think of any words in English that contain the two letters A, I? I'll give you a clue. Sometimes it's wet and it falls from the sky. Ra not rain, wet and falls from the sky, rain. Rain, we have R, A, I, N. A, I, rain. Now, anybody think of any other words? When we send something in the post, we call mail. Mail. M A I L. Rain. Mail. And let's see if we can think of one more letter or one more word containing A I. I know. If we have dogs or cats, what do they have behind them? Tail. Well done. How do we spell tail? T-A-I-L. Okay, so so far for A-I, rain. Rain. Male. Tail. Tail. And now we'll move on to the second sound that's very similar, but spelt and used differently. A-Y. Hey, Excellent. What do we all like to do with our friends? Play. play. How do we spell play? P-L-A-Y. Great example, guys. But let's see if we can think of any more. Maybe if teacher is tired, I will lay down. Yes, if I'm tired, sometimes I might want to lay down. How do we spell lay? L L A Y. You see? A. A. Can anybody think of one more word to give me? So can anybody think of any other words that contain the letters A Y? Tray. Tray. Excellent prayer. How do we spell tray? T R A Y. Play. Play. Lay. Lay. Tray. Tray. Rain. Rain. Mail. Mail. Tail. Tail. Both sounds similar, but they're spelled differently. And does anybody notice anything else? When we use AI, the letters are in the middle of the word. Not at the start and not at the end. 
in the middle. But when we use AY, where are the letters? Are they at the beginning? No. Are they in the middle? No. no. AY always at the end. So, final time, guys. Rain. Rain. Male. Tail. 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 A. A. Play. A. Lay. A. Tray. A. A. And what we're going to do in this lesson is we're going to look at how the two sounds, which are very similar, are used differently in English words. So now we have a few videos for us to look at on the television. So let's turn our TV screen, guys. Welcome back to class. We hope your students enjoyed the videos that better explain the sounds A, AI, and A, AY. Important to remember AI always in the middle of the word, AY always at the end. And now it's time for our stretch sequence. So let's stand up, guys, and push in our chairs. And for this sequence, we'll have a game of teacher says. So listen carefully. If teacher says, we can do. If teacher doesn't say, don't do. Teacher says, touch your shoulders. Teacher says, touch your knees. Teacher says, touch your toes. Stand up straight. Teacher says, walk on the spot. Stop. Teacher says, stop. Teacher says, jump up and down. Stop. Teacher says, stop. Teacher says, turn around. Teacher says, turn the other way. Turn around. No? <laughs> okay. Teacher says, touch your shoulders again. Hands on head. <laughs> Teacher says, touch your ears. Teacher says, touch your nose. Touch your mouth. Teacher says, into a little ball. Five, four, three, two, one, jump. Teacher says, jump. Excellent, guys. Teacher says, sit down. Okay, so now, teachers, it's time for our flashcard part of the lesson. So what you need to do in preparation is to have the two sounds spelt and written in separate columns on the board. Then with the flashcards, print them off and cut them into individual pictures. Because what we're going to do is we're going to ask our students to come forward with a picture, place it in the correct column and write the name of the word correctly using the spellings AI or AY. So guys, let's close our eyes first and then let's see what pictures we can see. Open our eyes, guys. Nadia, come and join me at the front. So first of all, can you show your friends the picture? What do we think, guys? What word? Play. play. Now, do we spell play A-I or A-Y? A-Y. Nadia, is that correct? Okay. So we can place it in the A-Y column, but now how to spell play? Play. P L A Y. Excellent, guys. Remembering A Y comes at the end of the word. So, Nadia, one more time. Play. Well done. High five. Big round of applause for Nadia. So, that's one way done. Nadia, you can relax. Everybody else, close your eyes. Okay, let's open our eyes, guys. Who has the picture? Net. 
Annette, come and join me at the front. Okay, so next picture. Annette, can you show our friends your picture? What do we think, guys? Rain. Do we spell rain, A-Y? A-I. Excellent. Okay, so next, let's put it into the A-I column. And next, how do we spell rain? R A I and then finally N excellent net and our word rain one more time rain perfect thank you net and a big high five and round of applause for net So see guys, A-Y at the end of words, A-I in the middle. Teachers, you can pause your videos now and you can play on with your students and the rest of the flashcards for around the next 10 minutes. And we're going to play on here too. Make sure to use a different student each time so that they get to practice. So who's next? Okay, let's open our eyes, guys. Who has the picture? Down. Come and join me at the front, please. First of all, can you show your friends the picture? What can we see in the picture, guys? Colors. But what do we do with colors? P -p paint. Excellent. Now, how do we spell paint? Do we spell paint A-Y or A-I? A-I. Excellent, guys. So, down, can you place it in the correct column? Perfect. And remember, A-I goes in the middle of words. So how do we spell paint? Can we help down? First letter, P. P. A. I. N. T. Paint. That's perfect, Dan. One more time. Paint. Paint. High five. Big round of applause for Dan. That was brilliant. So let's see. Next student. <laughs> okay, let's open our eyes, guys. Who has the picture? Bang pon. Okay. So let's show our friends the picture. And we have to be careful with this one because we're not looking at the object in the middle. What's this? Three. Three doesn't have A-I or A-Y. What we're looking at is the sun. And does anybody know what we call sometimes the bright, warm thing that comes from the sun? Light or Ray. R A Y. So, bang pon, do we think A I or A Y? Yes, well done. The ray from the sun. And how do we spell ray, guys? R A Y. Perfect. The ray from the sun. So one more time, can we say? Ray. Ray. Excellent, Bang Pon. Very good. High five. Big round of applause for Bang Pon. <laughs> you can see once again, A-Y at the end. Okay, we have one more word left for each column. So who will go next? Let's open our eyes, guys. Who has the picture? Can anybody tell me what this is in the picture? Think back to another lesson we did recently when we made the models. What did we use to make the model? K -cl clay. Excellent, Nadia. Clay. Now, where does AY come in clay? In the middle or at the end? At the end. So let's see. Where will we put clay? 
AI or AY? AY, excellent. And then, Lakau, can you spell clay? How do we spell clay, guys? C L A Y. Perfect. Excellent. So, one more time, clay. Excellent, Lakau. Very good writing, too. High five. Big round of applause for Lakau. And now for our final word. So we need one more student to help us close our eyes, guys. Okay, let's open our eyes. Who has the picture? Chu. Chu, come and help me at the front. So guys, who can tell me what this is on the front of Chu's picture? What can you see? Train. How do we spell train? With A-Y? A-Y or A-I? A-I, because A-I is in the middle of train, not the end. So, Chu, can you place it in the A-I column? Excellent. And then we'll help Chu spell together. So, first word, T. R. Tr. R. And then A. A. I. I. Well done, Chu. And then the final letter, N. For train. Excellent. Just make, bring that down a little bit more. That's perfect. So what's the word, guys? Train. Chu. Train. train. Perfect. High five. Big round of applause for Chu. So final time, AI, AI. Rain. Rain. rain, train, rain. Paint. paint. Notice AI always in the middle. But AY, Ray, Play, Play. Clay, Play. AY, always at the end. Excellent guys, very well done. Now, teachers, it's time for our worksheet activity part of the lesson. And for this lesson, there are two different worksheets that we'll give our students. So what you'll need to do is print off a worksheet for each of your students. And like I say, there are two different ones. The first worksheet has pictures of some of the words that we've practiced already and they have the missing letters. Our students need to look at each of the pictures and decide whether the word uses A-I or A-Y and complete that word correctly, okay? And once we're finished, we can then move on and we have a word search puzzle where we have the names of all the items and we'll try to see how many we can find, which will help with our spelling. And remember, guys, if you're struggling to remember how to spell, A-I goes in the middle of words, A-Y at the end. So give our students around 15 minutes because there's two different worksheets. But what's the first thing we must do, guys? Write our names on top. So Chu, that one's for you. And then Nadia, for you. Thank you. You're welcome. There you go. Pat, here's yours. You're welcome. And then the word search too. Thank you. You're welcome. So guys, first worksheet, look at the pictures and decide if we spell them A-I or A-Y. You're welcome, Ned. Down, here's yours. You. You're welcome. And Pang Pun, here's yours. Thank you. You're welcome. And then the word Thank search. You. The word search already has the names with the pictures. Thank you. You're welcome, Prel. So... Just look at the words and decide how we complete them, A-I or A-Y. Lack out for you. And a good way to complete the words, like I've said already, A-I in the middle. If the words need spelling at the end, it's A-Y. Make the first one rain. R, 
something, something, N. And we know if it's the middle, we spell A-I. Rain. So two, write your names on, and then you can have a go. Pale. P A I L. Pale is another word for bucket. Okay? H at the end we say H A Y. Hey. H A Y. If the word needs spelling in the middle, like here, Net, you see? You need to spell in the middle. What letters do we use in the middle of words? A, I, yes. So you can use them to spell the words. Pale. Pale means bucket. It's a word they use in America for bucket. Okay. Write like your names on top too. Okay. So, where do we spell the word? In the middle or at the end? Middle. So if it's in the middle, A I. A I. And then at the end, A Y. Thank you. You're welcome. Pale. Pale. Hey. Pale. Yes. Hey, so how many, how, now how many words can you find? So we have hey, H-A-Y. Can we find in the box? H-A. If you can find the words in the word search, guys, don't forget to circle and cross them off. And then we'll see how many we can get. Let me look, let's see. Hey, H-A-Y. H, yep, there's H, but we need A and then Y. Ah, I found P A Y, so we've got pay. P A Y, so you can circle it. So we've got P A Y. See how many others we can find, Sue. What can we find so far? Hey. Rain. Tray is on the top if you're looking for a tray. T. A-Y. You find Trey, well done, bank one. T-R-A-Y. H-A, we need Y, we need H-A-Y. The Trey we found at the top. Excellent, guys. Very well done. Excellent, Nadia. That's perfect. Everyone correct? Rain, pale, hay, paint, play, tray. Excellent, Michael. Welcome back to class. We hope your students enjoyed the worksheet activities where they first of all had to spell each of the words correctly using A-I or A-Y. So ready guys, we had rain, paint, pale, play, hay, and tray. And secondly, we had the word sheet activity too, where they have to look at the word search and find the different words inside the word search. My students are all still busy doing that one now. 
So to recap, today's lesson was two different spellings of the same sound. A. We had train. Rain. Paint. Ray. Play. Clay. And remember, AI always goes in the middle of words and AY always goes at the end when we're looking to spell. But that's all we've got time for today. So we hope you've enjoyed the lesson, had fun and learned something too. And we'll see you again soon for the next lesson. So can we all turn to wave and say goodbye guys? Bye bye. See you again next time.